Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus in Leo. So if in your birth chart, Venus is in a sign of Leo, these messages are for you for the month of June, 2020. This can also apply if you have Leo as your seventh house ruler. Um, and again, this is for um, your birth Venus, not transiting Venus. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general. They may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Um, if you guys want to reach me for a personal reading by phone, uh, be sure that you are registered at Bill Per Call. Um, I normally take calls um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then also Tuesdays and Thursdays, but the best days are you know Wednesdays and uh, Mondays. Um, if you want to email me for video reading to get that information, make sure that you have the updated price list. Um, payments and orders are collected on Fridays for that. All right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Four of Swords, uh, Three of Pentacles, and then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you guys seem like this for this month, it's about having your guards up. That's the energy that's coming off. Seems like you're guarded. You also may not be ready to let someone in romantically. If it isn't you, then it could be the person that you're interested in. If you're in a relationship, something's going on where, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of pain going on. People aren't talking about their what they're feeling. And somebody might be coming off very hard to read for their partner. Um, hmm. Your partner might be acting cold or distant towards you. Some of you might even be coming out of a breakup. Mm. Even though you're still holding on to that person, it's like you're still you're still going through a breakup, but you're hiding or covering up your pain. You could have been dealing with any sign. Uh, most of them are usually all going to come out. But um, either you could be a Leo with Leo and Venus, or you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, or water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If you were dealing with water, or I don't know, seems like, either way, it seems like two people aren't seeing eye to eye. Like you guys don't seem to be on the same page. Maybe you're thinking about taking a break from each other. Mm. Now, I feel if there has been a breakup or separation, somebody wants to work things out or they're wanting to rebuild. But, you know, I don't, they may be waiting for the right time. Like somebody isn't ready. One person might be ready to open up while the other person isn't. I feel like two people aren't speaking and somebody's hiding something about either their sexuality or something about their desires. They're like some sort of fetish or something of that sort. If in a relationship, it still looks like someone is hiding a secret. There could be um, a, a, an emotional affair going on at work. Matter of fact, yeah, it looks like somebody is or was having an affair at work. And I think things got heated, something happened, and there was this discussion like, hey, we're gonna have to take a time out. Like, we can't do this for a while. Somebody's love life is like a movie. 
it's like you can't make this stuff up or this is the type of stuff that seems like it's written for the screen so something also could be like art imitating life or life is imitating art hmm now I do feel that people might be around each other fantasizing about each other but just kind of pretending that nothing's going on I really feel like that's something's going on at work even if you work from home like something's something's going on with the person that you work with this person's supposed to be your coworker or while your partner is away at work you're doing something or vice versa so there's a fair centered around work is what I'm getting now those of you that are dating where you're not really in any type of commitment or you're not really dealing with anyone yet I feel like you're confused you're confused about who to move forward with uh, or you can't seem to make a decision you're like I don't know if, if, if this is real love I'm confused about these people um, this person keeps showing up in my reading then this person I like them all hmm. I feel like either it's not meant for you to make a decision just yet um, so go ahead and keep them all. Um, I also feel that if that's the case, it's possible that neither of them are the one you should move forward with. It might just be temporary relationships as you heal or as you sort out what it is that you truly want in a partnership. Someone's coming off as very guarded and secretive again. So I don't know if this is you, the people that you deal with. It also makes me feel like you might be, as of late, keep getting caught up in secretive situations where you're having to be the secret or this relationship has to be secret. Somebody is really like they just don't trust people. They're like, no, I don't trust everybody with my feelings. I don't trust everybody to see me vulnerable. Some of you don't need to date yet or be in relationships because it's indicating that you still need to do some healing here. I feel like you're still trying to get some things back together. You might be getting your life back together after some sort of breakup. Maybe you're newly single. Um, and so you've been really wanting to be left alone. There might be offers coming at you and you're like, not really ready. You're, even if you do decide to go out or talk to somebody, I feel like emotionally you're closed off. You're not really ready. You're still recovering from the last relationship or the last disappointment. If you're in a relationship, you and your partner are needing to compromise. There needs to be some sort of healing um, and trust built back up or trust reestablished. I don't know if someone betrayed you in the past, um, but you guys are needing to work that out. Hmm. Some of you are doing what you want to do. You don't care. You're like, I don't care if I'm, you know, what people think about me dating several people. Like, I'm trying to find myself. I'm trying to find out what I like. How do I know what I like if I've never experienced this, that, and the other? So someone is also coming off as experimental or like exploring uh, things that they didn't think they would be into or people they would be into. Um, definitely stepping outside of the box. Because at first it looks like you guys were closed in or set in your ways. Um, 
stuck in your comfort zone and something happens where you're like, okay, I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give it a shot. Mm. I can't tell if you keep thinking about a fire sign or if there's a fire sign that keeps thinking about you. Hmm. You guys are trying to beat off temptation. You're like, oh, I'm being tempted. Like, I, I've got to, I can't, I can't get caught up in this lust or this situation. I feel like there is some sort of uh, sexual tension between you and maybe an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, maybe even you and a Capricorn. Hmm. I feel like someone is also doing something to try to get a reaction, um, doing something flirtatious. So it could be a woman. Maybe she knows she looks good in her sundress. She's not wearing panties and she keeps walking around somebody like she's trying to get somebody's attention. Um, some guy, I don't know, maybe he broke out them gray joggers. I don't know. Somebody is trying to do something and I feel like someone is just like, Ooh, why are they doing that to me? They know, they know how I get when they do this or they wear that, you know. So I feel like there's some sort of strong lust or temptation, um, and someone's trying to get you to notice them or to reach out to them. Mm. And I almost feel like maybe you can even see right through this. You're like, I know what this is. Mm, I feel like at the end of the day, something might only be physical. It might be too shallow. Something might not be have enough depth to sustain your interest. Or maybe that is what someone thinks about you. Someone might be like, I like them. They turn me on. Sex is good, but it's nothing else. I feel like someone is, they, someone doesn't know what they want. So this definitely could be you trying to find yourself and maybe you're trying different flavors, just doing a lot of things, but you still haven't found it. So just keep looking. Um, this is only, you know, for this month, but yeah, for the most part, it looks like you are still feeling a bit of emptiness or feeling like you just can't find someone who gets you or who you can connect with and the person you're interested in I feel like this person isn't really saying anything or doing anything and I'm getting a sense of nervousness or insecurities on their part uh, or this person is you know still depressed or overcoming some sort of breakup themselves you also may not understand that people are battling their own demons. It's not just you, but people have their own demons too. If you're interested in the air sign, I think they are still stuck on either an, uh, the, a Capricorn or a fire sign. So this person might not give you a chance because they're still trying to move on from someone they're still attached to emotionally. Yeah, so those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully it resonates. Um, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.